Social media is full of photos, videos, and information about these protests across the country. And here on the Verify team, it's our job to dig through it all and find out what's real and what's not. First, let's talk about tweets like this, which have gone viral. Heard earlier they found pipe bombs at the Korean War Memorial. To find out the truth about this pretty scary claim, we went straight to the park police. They sent us this statement, quote, we were advised that a tweet said that there were pipe bombs at the Korean Memorial. The memorial and all adjacent areas were swept by explosion detection canines with negative results. Translation, no pipe bombs were found, and this rumor is false. The pipe bomb rumor seems to have started with this Twitter account. Jack Fasobiak from the One American News Network that's been retweeted some 32,000 times. He offered this response to criticism about the pipe bomb rumor, writing, I stand by my source. Next, this video uploaded to Twitter captioned rioters and looters invading homes in DC. Going inside someone's home? Now, out of context, this video can be pretty scary stuff. So let's stick to the facts. First, our researchers were able to trace back the video to the night of June 1st on Swan Street near Logan Circle. I was on the top step and I flung open the door and just started grabbing people and just saying, get in. That's when Raul Dubé, the homeowner, welcomed dozens of protesters into his home to wait out the curfew. The next morning, he was celebrated by protesters for letting them in. Our team showed Dubé the video and he confirmed for us this video is of his home on his street of him inviting people in not rioters rushing his home. That rumor is false. Now these protests, of course, are ongoing. So if you've got a question about this or anything else, just send us an email at verify at wusa9.com.